Julia, thank you. This morning, forensic investigators are back on the scene of this home here behind me on Milwaukee's northwest side. This house here is believed to be where the Molson Coors shooter lived. And today, neighbors are telling me more about the family that lived here. I feel bad for the family. A quiet block on Milwaukee's northwest side shaken as police surrounded a home here on Wednesday night, roping off the block with crime scene tape. They were here until... Oh, after 11. As investigators return to the scene this morning, neighbors tell us they were questioned by federal agents. Just unreal. I mean, you know, it's you're you're just in disbelief. You you wouldn't think somebody could do something like that. Neighbors say police wouldn't tell them why they were being questioned, but after hearing news of a mass shooting at Molson Coors, they quickly realized it had a connection to this crime scene. One time, uh, one of the policemen came and he had a a picture and he asked me to identify the picture and then I knew who it was. Several people in the area tell me the man who sources say is suspected of doing the shooting was a friendly neighborhood man who lived here with his wife and young daughter. They also say he was an employee at Molson Coors. He would walk the dog. He would, you know, work on his cars. Now they're left wondering what could have led the quiet man that they knew to kill five co-workers before turning the gun on himself. No inkling. I mean, no strange actions or anything, you know, that I ever saw. Now, police have not yet confirmed that this here is the home of that suspected shooter, but several other sources have. We're expecting to learn more about this piece in this investigation after the identity of the shooter is revealed. Reporting here uh, in the northwest side of Milwaukee, Ryan Jenkins, TMJ4 News. Vince. All right, Ryan.